guys? It was, for me, the most perfect job ever. Great material, amazing director, phenomenal cast, genius studio, three days, no one ever saw my face. It was I, 1987. It doesn't seem like it was that long ago, does yeah. it? Yeah, oh no. We'll do a sequel, I won't need the makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly, a lot of young people, when I say young, I say people in their 20s, come up and say, I watched it with my parents when I was little. Mm -hmm and now I can't wait to show it to my kids. Just actually happened like two days ago. I was having a sandwich and a guy comes up to me and says, is it nice and lean? <laughs> is it lean? It's uh, inconceivable that you that, can't uh, think uh, of yes, the thing. Well, that <laughs> Most interesting one I got, I guess, recently is some girl came up to me and lifted up her hair to show me the nape of her neck and she had, as you wish, tattooed on her neck. It was kind of a magical location, too, yeah. being up in the Midlands of England. But then we'd go to lunch, and that's what movie magic was all about for me, was walking down the street, going to the commissary with the leading man, the giant, <laughs> Carol Kane, looking like an apple sculpture, and me, and sitting there going, so uh, what do you think you're going to have? And, and, and it was just, like, so perfect. It was such a rich, rich experience, mm -hmm. sort of a fantasy in every way. That, yeah, exactly. That it just stays very vividly, whereas I've done movies I can't remember the name of, I have to tell you, ah. Ooh, don't, don't, <laughs> don't quote me. He gave us all hernias during the shoot because he didn't do any take the same way twice. And he just, Rob just said, just go, just go, Billy, do, do your thing. And each take was so insane. I'm supposed to be playing dead. I'm not even allowed to breathe. But, we, unfortunately, there's so many spoiled, brilliantly hilarious takes that we all spoiled, <laughs> including Andre. Just all of us cracking up that Rob had to leave the set because he couldn't, he couldn't even direct the scene. This is Max's hat, which I have kept for 25 years. It's the only thing I got through customs from the movie. Have fun storming the castle. 